Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another defensive video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over a defense in practice mode uh, that I went over in Monday's gameplay uh, just a little bit. I intend on having a full gameplay video dedicated to this defense in the future, so hit the like button if you want to see that. But I'm in the Kansas City Chiefs uh, defensive book one more time. I've been in the Kansas City Chiefs defense all year long. I put out plays at just about every single formation in this game, but I haven't touched on the 3-4 under. Now, this particular play that I'm going to show you guys today, I actually found when I was labbing a new book. I was actually messing around with the Tennessee Titans playbook a little bit, and I found a very good blitz out of the 3-4 under that just so happened to be in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive book. So, it's the play at the bottom there, the Will Fire 3 seam. Like I said, if you watch my videos, you saw this in a gameplay video um, two days ago and like I said I'm gonna have more because it's a very good blitz it's a very easy blitz to set up uh, as far as a, you know who you want to have and what positions here um, I would say the most important positions to have speed would probably be this linebacker here which I already have and Willie Gay and then the other spot would probably be uh, this guy here Ben Neiman um, but I'm not really sure I mean the Chiefs don't have a ton of speed of linebacker so this is a blitz you can run I'm also gonna show you guys some variations you can run for coverage uh, but ultimately, this is pretty much it. Now, as far as, um, you know, a lot of people ask me, like, what would my zone drops be and stuff like that and coaching adjustments. On a play like this, I'd probably go curl flats 20 uh, and maybe hard flats, um, you know, 5. Regular flats, maybe 5. Um, you know, you can mess around between 20 and 25. That'd probably be uh, where I would have my flats at most of the time. But that's about it. So this is a very easy play. Let's go and let's pick that. We'll fire three at the bottom. On the offensive side, I mean, this is probably going to be best for people that run stuff under center. Um, you know, the gun formations, I mean, you don't want to run this against somebody that's in like an empty backfield or too spread of a look, but you can. I would say up to three wide receivers, you can get away with it. For now, though, we'll start off a we'll single back and we'll work our way back to some gun stuff. So let's go and let's pick this. Now, before I get into this video, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up like mine, I got a 97. I'm close to a 98. Check them out. Link in the description below. and Use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. Now, as far as this play goes here, uh, a formation like this, an offensive formation like this might mess with the alignment just a little bit when you have that three tight end look. A lot of times, it will um, you know, force... Uh, the look to change a little bit, but it doesn't look like it did on this particular play. That's one of the things I like about this play. It's a pretty uh, consistent setup, no matter what look you're looking at. If you're coming out, if they're coming out a little bit too much, like you know, wide gun formations, a lot of time this blitzing linebacker will be out a little bit far. Uh, but all I'm really going to do is I'm just going to hit uh, D pad to the right and down and that's going to blitz all that's all i'm going to do i can typically use either this guy here who's a safety will give me a little bit of speed um, on a formation like this though based off the fact that there's three tight ends and i don't really worry about them beating me speed wise i might bring this guy over and just use her the middle safety i just have to keep an eye on um, you know that receiver all the way out there, but he's pretty much going to be taken care of a lot of times These these uh, zone coverages are going to turn into man coverage is based off of the fact that there's not a lot going on in their area So that single wide receiver over there. I'm not too worried about like I said a lot of times I will use the safety uh, just to give myself an extra box defender uh, And then we'll go ahead and we'll let this play run like I said Hopefully it's a pass on this very first play You can see the pressure comes around the edge and of course the guy that I'm supposed to be covering is the guy that makes the catch Because I'm not paying attention. So let's go. Let's do that again Like I said, it's a really simple setup all I'm going to do for the blitzing version of this defense is blitz all and then I really have a couple of different options that I could do a lot of times if I want to play it safe I'll use this guy but if you have people that are you know hitting flats a lot and stuff like that you can leave them out there you can hard flat them you can you know do any number of things um, to that side uh, but let's just let this blitz get home one time before we go over the different variations that you can run uh, because this plays a good base defense too it's not just a blitz uh, as you can see on the next play like I said we're just gonna get you know so you're gonna get a lot of pressure you're sending obviously you're sending a lot of people so here's a scenario we have that bunch look um, this is a scenario where if I want to I mean I could easily you know since there's no real tells since you're not making any movements to set up any blitzes or anything like that um, you could easily you know use this as like a coverage play maybe you can Mabel on this side here um, you know there's any number of things you can do you can you can do uh, you know Mabel's on both sides 
uh, and you can have like your traditional uh, defense. Obviously, these guys, you know, I, I think you can get pretty decent coverage. Obviously, this is a safety, so you're going to get good coverage on that side. Um, a lot of people like to run more safeties than what I'm getting, but like I said, if you have speed guys on the outside, you'll have definitely good coverage out here. I don't think running a Mabel concept against a computer is going to be a good idea because they'll just wait you out. But a lot of times, if your opponent is reacting to the blitzing, you could easily just switch it up and go with something like this, which is something that a lot of people are doing. And then you have that cover three look, which a lot of people like anyway. And like I said, based off the formation, you get pretty good run defense. And the fact that this defense sets up so quickly, too, is definitely a plus. So we'll go and we'll do that one more time. And then I think I'll end this video with some gameplay footage of me running this. As you can see, once again, I mean, the pressure just gets there instantly. Let's go ahead and let's go to uh, a replay real quick. So watching it in replay, once again, like I said, this guy here, who's like the original blitzer, he will come in free a lot of times. You can see right here. I don't know why he decides to slow down and pass off. Like I said, it works a lot better in Mutt, but you can see we're still having success. This guy here off the edge, it almost looks like I didn't guess pass. I'm not even 100% sure if I did. But this guy here off the edge, he's the guy who gets a lot of pressure too. Like I said, you want to have speed at this outside guy because he pretty much just sprints right in and gets an easy sack. So that's one of the things about this defense you can do. There's two different ways you can set this up. There's two different ways, a multitude of ways that you can run this, and you can really have a lot of success. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this defense. It's nice that you have a three wreck as your middle linebacker rather than a lot of, you know, I used to put a lot of, a lot of times I put my defensive uh, end into a three wreck uh, by simply bluff blitzing them, which is, you know, it's not as good because you're, they don't have as high zones and stuff like that. So if you're playing regs, this is definitely something you could do. I would say it would be best probably um, if you want a little more pressure, you can just Mabel the side, like right here, we have three, uh, you know, you got your three receivers on the right side. Just Mabel your three, um, you know, the, the, to that side, really the open side of the field, which most people work. So, you know, there's several tells in which you could just Mabel one side, and then the other side, you still have a four-man pressure, although ultimately, you know, you're not going to get as much pressure as you would as you're sending the full blitzing version. But there's a couple of different things you can do. And then this three wreck here, if one of these guys crosses, a lot of times the three wreck will take care of it. So I would use this guy, like I said, this is something where you could use that guy. You can maybe borrow this guy here. There's a couple of different things you can do, but you can definitely set up a normal defense, uh, you know, a normal all zone, max zone type of defense. And you can see we're still getting pressure. Nothing gets open as the guy's taking another sack. So, like I said, a very good defense, a very good play. I'm using, I'm definitely mixing this play in a lot in my gameplays, and I'm having a lot of success with it. If I'm gonna end the video there, if you guys want to see gameplay of this defense, uh, like a exclusively, you know, uh, a full game play of this defense and be running just this defense do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comments section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below